clip. So our last clip is just looking at some of the tools that are built into Google Drive, uh, Google Docs, sorry. Uh, so if I am in my document, uh, we have a couple different options here. We can go into Tools. Now I do in my tools have those typical documents like spelling and word count and all of that jazz, but I do have this option to bring in research. And research just means that I can go in, uh, if I'm looking for an image of uh, sparklers, I can see if I can find a cool one that I want to bring into my document. Oops, sorry. So we'll just drag that in and I can uh, embed that. We can also go look for uh, different items online. So if we are looking at sparklers, uh, or let's say we want to do innovation, Einstein maybe, since I mentioned him in my text, we can look online, find the pictures, find information. We can also look for quotes, if there's any meaningful quotes. Uh, and bring those in as well. If you do bring items in, you're going to notice that it actually footnotes and gives credit to where that resource is. So a great little uh, way to teach students about those tools. Another item that's available in tools is uh, the voice typing tool. So if I go into tools and go to voice typing, if I click on my microphone, this is a voice typing tool, which will turn anything I say into typing. It doesn't look as amazing when you see this on video, uh, but I promise I'm not using the keyboard. Uh, period, new line. Uh, we'll just turn that off. So all of the tools you would use in Dragon, uh, Dragon Naturally Speaking or Dragon Dictation would work here as well. On an iPad, you could use your built-in uh, dictation tools within your keyboard uh, to use that uh, capability as well.